if you're considering making a website and you are just unsure what image size to use, then you're in the right place. So what image size or dimension should you use for your website or blog? And that's what we're here to find out. The best way to find out what image dimensions you should use is to look for a website design that you like, or maybe you have WordPress already installed that you should just go through the themes and see which one you like to use. Once you decide on a theme or design, then you can inspect the image on the website to determine what size that theme or design is using. So you'll know the exact dimensions of the image that you want to use for that design. And I'm going to show you how to inspect an image through Google Chrome, Windows Edge, Firefox, and Safari browsers. And let's just go ahead and use my site as an example. All right, so we're here on one of my articles and we'll be using the Chrome browser for now. Uh, if you want to see the dimensions of this image right here, then all you need to do is right click on the image and then select inspect and then the developer tools windows will appear over here and you basically have two options at this point the code in the developers tool is already highlighted so you can simply hover over the highlighted code and the dimensions of the image will appear in this case it's 773 by 435 pixels the first number is the width and the second number is the height of the image now if you hover over the actual text itself in the developer window here you'll see the same details, but you'll notice the intrinsic dimensions right next to it. And this is just the original dimensions of the source image that I uploaded. And you can see that it's 1920 by 1080, but WordPress has sized it down for me to fit the section uh, that the theme is using. And knowing that, it would probably be better for me to upload an image with a smaller size of 773 by 435 instead to exactly fit that section and speed up my page. Or I could even use a smaller size and WordPress will scale it up to the correct size if I want to speed up the page even a little bit more. But uh, we are kind of going off topic here. So alternatively, you can also select the element tool in the developers window up here. And this little icon will be highlighted when you activate it. Now you can just hover over any image on the site and see the dimensions. The cool thing about having the Elementor selector on is that you can just scroll down on the page and hover over any image and it'll show you the details of any element on the page. And if you turn it off, then you have to scroll down the developer window and find the section you want to inspect. And I prefer using the element selector if you want to inspect multiple images on a page. And I'm not going to show it here, but this method works exactly the same way if you want to use it with Windows Edge browser to inspect an image of a website. All right, so here's another popular browser. We're going to take a look on how it works on Firefox. And the same way, you just right click on the image. And once again, you have two options. You can inspect the image just like we did above uh, by selecting the inspect right here. Or what makes Firefox different than the others is that you can select view image info and a window will pop up displaying all the elements on the page. You can view all the images info just by scrolling up and down the list in this little window and selecting that image. And the second option is probably the best way to get the image info on Firefox. And it's also my preferred choice if I had to use Firefox. You can use the same method to inspect an image on Safari as we did with the other browsers as well. And I don't have access to a Safari browser to demonstrate for you guys, but it's the same principle and by now you pretty much get the idea of how to do it. The only difference is that you have to turn on the developer's menu first. And here's how to do it. Once you have it turned on, you should be able to hover over any image on the page to get the image dimensions that you want. And let me give you guys an example why it's important to use the right size dimensions for your images. And it's because some elements that a theme may be using require a certain size. Like for instance, this slider right here. Uh, the element may only use an image that has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is kind of like a rectangular shape. And we decide to use an image that is about a 1 to 1 ratio, which is kind of like a square shape. Then it's going to look kind of like this. And let me go ahead and pull in the original image to about right here. And you can see that it zoomed into the image to fit the slider area. And it cropped out some of the important words to make it fit that slider area. And it may look okay in other places on your website, but using it for a slider is probably not the best idea. And that's why it's important to use the correct image dimensions. But there are some ways that you can fix this. And if you want to know more, then follow me so you'll know when I release that tutorial. But here is a basic example template of image dimensions that I use for my website that can help you decide the image dimensions to use if you use a similar layout. 
and I'm mostly using the 16 by 9 aspect ratio for almost all my images and depending on the type of image you're using you can use a smaller or larger dimension to fit your needs but these sizes would generally fit this type of layout very well and keep in mind that I'm using a larger image dimension for my header image because the header element here can scale a lot depending on the device the user is viewing so I just wanted to be sure that there is no issue when it comes to that if you want more in-depth details on the things that we talked about today, then be sure to head on over to my website where you'll find all kinds of related content. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, then go ahead and show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Your support is always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.